The following question deals with calculating experimentally the enthalpy change of a reaction. And the question reads that in experiment to calculate the enthalpy change of combustion of a fuel, so you're basically uh, trying to do an experiment to calculate the enthalpy change of combustion of a fuel. He's given us the uh, 1.5 grams or 0 0.0326 moles of the fuel was used to heat and he's heating 200 grams of water. So, and the temperature of the water rose from 25 so the temperature of the water or delta T rose from 25 to 55 degrees centigrade, which means that the change in temperature is, if it's rising from 25 to 55, that means that the change is 30 degrees centigrade. And since uh, the temperature is rising, which it also states or suggests that it's an exothermic reaction. So whatever the sign of energy change, remember you always make sure that uh, uh, when you do when you're doing experimental calculations the sign of the energy change has to be determined if the temperature is rising that would indicate that the reaction is exothermic and the specific heat capacity of water is also given it's 4.18 uh, specific heat capacity of water is given that's 4.18 joules per gram per Kelvin so that is also known so I'm just drawing a small sketch here's my beaker it contains uh it contains 200 grams of water and i know the specific heat capacity i know that the temperature of the water delta t is changing it changes by it rises by 30 degrees centigrade so so there's a change in temperature of water and why is it rising because of fuel is being burnt which is producing all the heat energy uh that fuel is burned and the amount of fuel that's being burned is 1.5 grams or in terms of moles that's 0 0.0326 moles so we are burning a fuel and the energy is being transferred to a uh, water in a container it's 200 grams of water and the temperature change of the water the temperature rises by 30 degrees centigrade now the question states that there is significant heat loss in this experiment which means that the experiment is not very very accurate Therefore, the experimental value for the enthalpy change of combustion of the fuel will be different from the theoretical value, which is very obvious because uh, the accuracy is not there. A lot of heat loss is taking place. Now, using the information above, so based on the above information that's given, so using the information above, we uh, what is the experimental value for the enthalpy change of combustion of the fuel? Now, the amount of energy that's being produced or being absorbed by the water can be calculated using the formula which is that heat energy is equal to uh, the mass into specific heat capacity into the temperature change delta t so we can use the formula mc delta t the specific heat capacity formula the mass of water is already given so since we're assuming that the energy that's being produced is going to is being absorbed by the water so the mass of water is given that's 200 grams so i'm going to try and figure out how much energy is being absorbed by this water over here the specific heat capacity of water is also given that's 4.18 joules per gram per kelvin so that's already mentioned over here it's 4.18 joules per gram per kelvin and the temperature change delta t is also known that's 30. now remember one thing you need to put a sign which is going to be negative because it's an exothermic reaction temperature is rising so whatever is happening temperature is rising so that indicates an exothermic reaction so i'm going to try and calculate uh, the amount of energy that's being absorbed by water on my calculator and this energy comes out to be equal to uh, 25080 joules so that is the amount of energy that the water is absorbing and obviously where is that energy coming from the energy that's being absorbed by the water is coming from the fuel which basically means that you're burning 0 0.0326 moles of fuel and the amount of energy that's being produced or being absorbed by the water is 25080 joules now the question wants us uh, to um, figure out what is the experimental value for the enthalpy change of combustion. So we need to figure out the enthalpy change of combustion. 
And remember, enthalpy change of combustion is for one mole of fuel. Now, we know that 0 0.0326 moles of the fuel produces this much energy. So what would one mole of the fuel, how much energy would be produced by one mole of the fuel? So it's simple ratios. So this X would be unknown. So simple ratios, I'm going to use simple ratios and cross multiplying. So it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, this X would become equal to, it would become equal to 25080 divided by 0 0.0326 and the answer that I'm getting is uh, 769325 joules now it's in joules not in kilojoules and remember we forgot to put the sign the minus sign because we already figured out that this was an exothermic reaction so don't forget to put this minus sign this minus sign should be over here as well so since it's an exothermic reaction always remember to put the minus sign over there for exothermic reactions this is the amount of energy that's being produced uh, for one mole of fuel and uh, in terms of kilojoule this would be approximately equal to minus 769 kilojoules hence option b would be your correct option for this for this question.